My next guest is a best-selling author, trainer, and the co-creator of the lifestyle brand Forbes Dub, a fitness empire. Tone it up, a premier fitness and lifestyle community reaches somewhere around 5 million women on social media. But Karina Dawn, while she was growing her empire, was hiding a part of her childhood that she worried could impact her journey for the rest of her life. But in her new memoir, which I have right here, The Big Silence, she decided to share that secret, which involved her parent, so that she could heal and help others. Take a look. When Karina Dawn was around the age of 12 years old, her mother was diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia, a mental illness that was both misunderstood and rarely spoken about. Karina spent most of her teen years spiraling into what she calls a toxic lifestyle, leading to a suicide attempt and years of drug use to numb the pain, locking her emotions away out of fear of what others would say as her mother was in and out of the house. It was at her lowest point when she rediscovered fitness, saving her life in the process, and realized she could use her story to make change for others using her rock star platform, Tone It Up, to share how fitness and meditation can heal. And fam, please welcome Karina Dawn to the show. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Listen, I have to tell you what a powerful decision you made to share your story. Your mother, Linda, passed away last September, and um, you wrote in the book, I was grateful that my mom was now pain-free and hopefully happy, but grief had carved unbearable pain and sorrow into my soul. I would take time to reassemble the broken parts of myself. I knew now that this was actually just the beginning of my healing journey. Linda, before she passed away, as I understand, did not want you to reveal the raw reality of your lives. How did you make the decision to move forward with the story? Well, I've always been a huge mental health advocate, and I started writing the book five years ago. And I, you know, my mother, she knew I was doing it. She knew my advocacy. And she would oftentimes get upset. Well, no one can know about this because they'll think something's wrong with me, that I'm dangerous. I'm like, no, mom, like your story and my story can save lives and heal others. And then I was um, at her bedside the last three days of her life in hospice. And she finally opened up and said, it's not just my physical health. It's my mental health. And I held her hand and brushed her hair, cried and said, well, you know what? Your legacy is living on. And me and my sister, Rachel, we're going to make sure no one suffers like you and suffers like little Karina. From this space that you speak, a child who watched their parent and that journey, as you pointed out. Well, to relive it is also traumatic. And especially now that my mother has passed, there's, I'm working on healing the trauma in my own body. So we know that when something traumatic happens to you, you hold it in the cells of your body. And writing a book for five years, editing, and then now going out um, I've on tour, I've had to learn how to manage that trauma. But it's almost, it's, it's, it's beautiful because I think of the little girl and there are a lot of young people, teenagers today who are suffering back in the 90s when this was happening, my mom was diagnosed, no one was talking about mental health. And so I was a very lost, lost little girl. And if someone could have come to me at that time and said, this is what mental illness is, I, 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 I'm so thankful I'm alive today. As you know, I had a suicide. And you were 13 years old. It was a Saturday night. You were at a friend's house. And you felt that life was no longer it, worth living. You're 13 at the time because of what you were facing. Take me to that night, um, not to relive the details, but to, mm -hmm. I think, stress to people that they're not alone because so many people I'm sure have been at that very point that you were then as a 13 year old child. Um, so back then, you know, my parents were fighting a lot at home and there was a lot of screaming. My mom was in and out of the house and it was just chaos everywhere. And 
if you have a parent who struggled for a, from a mental health disease, you know, it, um, it was very chaotic in the house. I won't go into detail here, but I just like life is worth it. I couldn't see the light at the end of the tunnel. So I, you know, I journaled a lot back then. And I, a lot of my journaling from my childhood is in the book too. And I, I read that now and it's like, Ooh, mm-hmm. how no young child should ever have those feelings and those emotions and have them stuffed down. And they need to be able to talk about it. So I was in such a dark place, but now I see like there is the light. You talk about that space of shame, right? Because that's a big part of why we don't tell um, others what we're going through, even when they might be experiencing the same thing. That shame, though, as an adult, it sticks with you, certainly when it starts as a child. So here you were amassing this empire. Was that shame following you? Oh, yeah. Uh, we started to tone it up myself, Katrina, in 2009. And Katrina knows my entire story. And I, I can never let anyone know my past that my mother is who she is. And that that sent my own situational depression, a suicide attempt, and drug abuse. And I was like, we got to keep that quiet because we're a fitness empire superstar. But then finally, it was like, that was hurting me emotionally by not talking about it. And so I was like, how many other people is it hurting by them not being able to talk about it? So that's when I finally said, you know what? Screw it. I'm opening up. I love it. More with Karina Don on that enough is enough moment where she decided to no longer hold on to the secret, but heal and help others at the same time. We'll be right back. Welcome back, Pam Pam. We are talking with Karina Dawn, the mastermind and co-creator of Tone It Up, a fitness empire loved by millions of women around the world. Karina is opening up, though, now about her childhood journey and sharing the story of her mother's mental health issues in her book, The Big Silence. Karina, thank you so much for continuing this conversation. I know it took five years um, to really process this book and put it together to share your mother Linda's journey and her life living with paranoid schizophrenia. As a child, when you first heard the diagnosis or or whatever age you were, when you first heard that, it seems to me again, we go to, well, what will my friends think? What will others think? And that followed you throughout your life and career. Correct, yeah, I didn't talk about it. I think that behind the curtain at home, friends and their family knew something was wrong. My, my mom would go missing for weeks, months at a time and end up in the hospital. But I never really shared with it. And back then, again, in the 90s, when I did say something, um, I actually lost a lot of friends. And then I just stopped talking about it at that point. And I turned to self-abuse habits. And it, it wasn't healthy. You wrote in the book, um, when you found peace with a lot of the things you've talked about with us, you said, I recognize that there's a powerful strength inside my mother. My drive, courage, and strength come from her. They are simply manifested in a different way. When I was younger, I just thought she was sick and had abandoned me, but she was on earth to teach me how to be strong. I thought a lot about that and looked at the empire that you have amassed, and I thought, would she be here, especially in this fitness world where we have to take care of our bodies, had that not happened? Absolutely not. I wouldn't be where I am today. And I, I made it very clear to my mom um, many times, you know, upon her last three days where she spoke so much about regret and mental mm-hmm. health. And I made sure that she knew that she should be proud of the daughter that she raised by not being there because. I love who I've been able to become and what I have learned in that process of strength. Don't sweat the small stuff um, and taking risks. I'm able to do so much more because of what I went through. I told her, I was like, you raised a really good daughter. Mm, She definitely did. And I know that we've talked a lot about your mother, Linda, but your father also, his journey, Nick's journey um, helped you heal as well. Yeah. My dad was with my mom for 25 years. And 
one day she was just gone and that was the last time he saw her and he went through his own depression and you know he we as a family did the best that we could and other families out there that are going through this just know like the best that you can it doesn't have to be perfect i've learned that perfectionism is a prison and but i watched him overcome fall in love again and rise up and that was one of my breaking moments where it's like i can do this there's your life is meant to be something greater than what you're making it right now well interesting enough take a look your dad sent a special message to you take a look at the screen hi karina it's dad just taking a moment to tell you how proud i am of you and the work you're doing with the podcast the big silence and the release of your memoir the experience and perseverance and the strength and hope that you share has truly been an inspiration to me and I believe it's going to inspire others to uh, get help in their healing. So just way to go with your courage and compassion, sweetie. Uh, it's beautiful. Uh, I love you. Breathe in, breathe out. Uh, there's nothing like the love of a parent and the honesty that it took for you to reveal your journey. Nick is he's a solid guy and he's so proud of you. <laughs> I was gonna try to get through this without crying. <laughs> Do you feel liberated and free now to cry as you've done, to re-put in your earbud and just keep it moving in life? <laughs> I know, I'm like, earbud fell out. <laughs> uh, what, keep your truth and just making sure you're an honest, good person, speaking my truth and I've been crying so much more lately only because I'm so happy about getting this message out. And if you talk about it more, it's just like, ah, oh, your body just relaxes. You are who you are and just, it's been healing. Karina Dawn's book, The Big Silence, a daughter's memoir of mental illness and healing is available now.